everyone, Nux333 free, free, free here, and today, I'm back with another TGL Rants. So, that didn't take too long, I guess. So, I guess, as you can tell by the title, and as you can tell for a while, one of the biggest TGL Rants that I've always wanted to do, always wanted to do since the start of this channel, was a rant on IGN. And there was a reason, too. You see... This all began a long time ago when Sonic Unleashed came out. You see, the Sonic Unleashed review was crap. IGN completely butchered the game. They said the Werehogs just sucked, and all of a sudden, every Sonic fan said the Werehogs sucked. It's as if they were in corporate droids. Back then, IGN used to make up minds for people because of how big they were. They ruined numerous games. They ruined Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. They ruined movies too, they ruined those too. Basically, their reviews have directed people in the wrong way. Today, I don't mind IGN, I don't even give a crap about them normally. And that's why I never made the rant. I would have made the IGN rant a long time ago, a long time ago. Talking about how they always use bullcrap review points they never explain the reasoning. Sometimes they do, but it's stupid. They never, they, heck, they praise the game up until when it failed, and uh, up until when they give it the fail grade. And then, you know, like they'll hype you for, the, for it, and then the review will be crap. And then the numerous amount of good reviews they give to crap. Need I remind you that these are the guys that I've mentioned numerous of times that have praised Call of Duty so much. I'm done with the Call of Duty hate thing. I don't want to be a big hater. As overrated as it is, I'm going to keep that opinion to myself. We don't need a war on that. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about IGN. So what brought me the, to the point of this rant at last was their most recent review. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. IGN's review on Sonic Lost World. Now, when Sonic Lost World was being talked about by IGN, they praised the game. Every video talking about Sonic Lost World by IGN is praised. You cannot say the opposite. However, I have never liked IGN's Sonic reviews. The guy they get to review the Sonic games never knows what he's talking about and acts like he's always hated the franchise. Whenever he does it, he compares it to something. Mario. Once again, Sonic is getting disrespected and compared to crap because he's doing something that other games will get praised for. That's IGN were the king of these people, and that's why I despise them. It was present in many of the reviews. Some would say their Sonic Colors and Sonic Generation reviews were good. Hey, they gave those good scores that don't get so angry. It's not the score I was angry about those reviews. It was the approach. In the generation review, the guy starts the review saying, Oh, Sonic's game war games weren't so great. You know, it's good to have a game like this. The same way they started Colors. It annoys me. Their reviews, Sonic reviews, are the worst reviews of all time. And they, they just... It's as if they have a goal to, you know, sort of, I can't say they're going after Sonic. You can't say that, or else they wouldn't even give it good scores to begin with. But I can t certainly say they have never really been on the blue blur side. Now, the thing about the Sonic Lost World review was, around the time the game was, was out in Japan, and IGN got it and set it to the English settings and played it, I was actually expecting a decent review for the game. You know, I was, you know, so one day I'm searching for my phone, getting ready to go to school, 
you know, and all of a sudden I see that IGN gave the game basically either, I think it was either a D minus or an F. They gave the game a horrible rating, and I was just shocked. The fan rage within me just... You would not believe how angry I was. Heck, I fired up my laptop when I got home from school, and I was editing, you know, preparing to make a TGO rant to spit them a new one. I was actually going to really rant on them hard. I was going to knock them down, but I calmed myself down, and I said, no, we need details, we need to wait, we need more stuff, we cannot just go in and rant like maniacs. So over the course of the days, I watched some other videos on concerning this. Kabon and Money's approach was basically, you know, screw you, IGN. You know, you guys suck. Why does your opinion matter? Why do you give this game an F? And it hasn't even been out for like a day. You know, and I, I can certainly understand that. I can understand why multiple Sonic fans would be like, IGN, your review is crap. I can understand that. But from a perspective, there was this one user who had an interesting rant that did make an interesting point. He said, you know, we shouldn't pay attention to IGN's reviews. The best review is your own. But then there was another guy who had a point saying, well, reviews let you know, you know, if you watch quite a few reviews, they let you shape the game. True. But I think I'm going to agree with the first guy. We shouldn't trust IGN's reviews. It's gotten to a point where you can't trust them anymore. For me, I learned this a long time ago, and I don't give a crap about their reviews. I don't rage if they give a game a score too low, and I don't rage if, I give, if they give a game a score too high. I don't give a crap, and it's what other people should do nowadays. I've been meaning, I've, I wanted to come, to come into this video talking about, you know, calling them so many names over how they gave this game a bad review. And the word, I will admit though, the Sonic Lost World review was crap. They made, they bashed points that they praised in their other videos. Sonic going slow was awesome. In the review, Sonic going slow is terrible. The game is horrible. You know, and they were hating things that they praised. They also made a huge mistake in the review. One of the biggest mistakes within the review was he criticized the speed of the game, saying Sonic is way too slow and he feels crappy and the controls are lagging. When really, that was the dude's own ability because later people figure out how you can go fast. The game basically does have a boost, but they never figured it out. Hence why they gave the game. That was an excuse to give the game a bad review, but it did have a way to boost. So that was a major fail on their part. So I agree with the fans, but I do have to say one thing. Do not give a crap about the reviews. Their reviews have been unreliable, and it's gotten to the point where you can't trust them. Do you want to know really why IGN gave that game such a horrible review after praising it? A. The rumors are that you have to pay IGN in order for them to, you know, give you good reviews, if you know what I mean. That is how business, the business rumors can be true, and they possibly are. So, that is possibly one reason. And in the past, Sega never did dish out, was known to never really dish out good casts, hence why they gave games such horrible reviews. But, there is one other point I have to make. Their other reviews are show how unreliable they are. Who remembers New Super Mario Bros. 2? One of the Mario games I look back and just go, Ugh. The reason why I don't like that game is because of how repetitive it is. Out of every Mario game, it was the only one to not introduce something new or introduce something new. Nothing new, except for that stupid coin gimmick and bringing back the Rhino bosses from Super Mario World. Other than that, it was the most repetitive of the Mario games. It was basically copy and paste. I had to put my foot down and said, you know what? That game is just, Nintendo, this is a cash-in. It looks, it could have been good, but it's a cash-in, honestly. I put my foot down and said that. IGN gave this game a 9.5, saying it was very original, very fresh, and very amusing. I admit, the game wasn't decent, but it didn't deserve a score that high, and it definitely did not deserve to be called original. Other rev crappy reviews include IGN's review of the Battlefield games, calling them crap because they're, they take the same genre as Call of Duty. 
You've also got the reviews of the Mystery Dungeon games. Reviews that I despise the company for. They gave both Mystery Dungeons Ds, if I'm correct, let alone C minuses. Those games are like A pluses, maybe not A pluses, but at least in the nine range. Excellent story, excellent gameplay, and mainly excellent story and dialogue. It was a the Mystery Dungeon games are among the great. Maybe not so much Gates of Infinity. I'll admit, even in my personal review, Gates to Infinity is like a C so in that range, so I'll give them that. But the Mystery Dungeon games of the past, they gave crappy reviews. They gave Time and Darkness crappy reviews be for no reason. They didn't even talk about anything else of the game. They just said the gameplay is different from the main Pokemon series. Don't play it. And their review of Sky was completely crap because all they did was say the game is a repeat of Time and Darkness. Don't buy it. It's crap. When there's a little more to that, it's actually extended content for Time and Darkness. So if you haven't played Time and Darkness, pick up Sky. And if you have Time and Darkness, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, they could have been a little more detailed than that. For me, I just would have... I, I don't understand. I never liked IGN for their reviews. So my ultimate advice is don't tear them up a new one for Sonic Lost World. Don't even go to their videos. Don't pay attention to IGN. I finally gave up on them. I'm not going to watch the reviews. I don't care what scores they give their games. If you're, the best review is your own. And if you do trust reviews, don't trust people like IGN or mainstream reviewing companies. They could be rigged. Trust real reviewers. For me, here's a good recommendation of a real, you know, reviewing company. Just Some call me Johnny. Probably one of the best game reviewers on YouTube. Some call me Johnny. If you've heard of the guy, he I'm subscribed to him on my channel. So if you go in the About tab, look down, you'll see his channel. Great review guy. He is like the ultimate reviewer. As IGN, not so much. And as much as I'd like to tear them a new one for their Sonic Lost World review, and I sort of practically already did, I just don't care. That's all I have to say. If the game's bad, maybe it's bad. Who knows? Maybe some of their points were true. I personally already have my personal, how do I say this, disinterest in it, but not certainly in IGN's eyes, so why should I listen to them? Other than that, that's all I have to say. So be sure to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this whole IGN scenario. And even if you are a past Sonic fan, let me know what you think. I mean, they have criticized quite a few things from the Sonic games. I mean, they don't like they don't like a lot of things from the Sonic games, but whatever. Other than that, be sure to, you know, rate, comment, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Leave a like for the vid, and you know, that's it. Subscribe if you do. Nothing else to say. This is Nuts Free Free Free. Out. Thank you for watching.